Hi everybody, hope you're doing marvelously well. I'm very excited to try out these. Cali have made a new three-way speaker. It's called the IN5 with a five-inch driver. It's a three-way and it's going to be $698 for the pair. That is for the pair. Plus, they've lowered the self-noise 12 dB, so these will be quiet, and if they're anything like the rest of the Cali range, sound amazing. So, let's get to trying them out. First of all, of course, I'm gonna have to unbox them. So, you know me and my lack of unboxing skills. One thing I'll say with Cali is every single time I've tried out their speakers, I have asked them whether they want me to break them in, and they say they will always sound great coming out of the box. It's interesting, only one or two speaker manufacturers have ever asked me to do that. I'm not an expert, so I don't know what that means. Does that mean they're already broken in? Who knows? I'm... Okay, here we go. Okay, so it looks like with the IN series, they recommend them they can be put on their side. So they can be vertical or horizontal. 0.2 meters to 2.2 meters apart. So they can be pretty close. We're gonna have them inside of the Genel X here. And some pads here. Power cable. All right, here's the first one. Firstly, it's pretty substantial. So that's nice. It's not light. We'll get it out of its sock. There's other words I could have used. I chose sock. This is a family show after all. Remove before use. <laughs> I'm gonna tease, I'm gonna tease uh, Nathan <laughs> about that. I'm assuming they had a little joke. Okay. There they are. Oh, wow. Oh, they're really super skinny and slim. Wow, there they are. That is absolutely beautiful. On the back, we have an RCA input, your TRS input, and we have an XLR input. Volume control, plus or minus 6 dB. And then we have the switching here, which you can, you can turn on these switches for all of these different modes, depending on how you've got the speakers set up. What I've done here is clicked up these two here, which emulates how we're doing it, putting it on the top of the meter bridge on the console. It's very important to know that those speaker stands are on the meter bridge actually have a big, thick rubber pad on them. And you've obviously got more control here where you can boost and cut low and high frequencies. But we're gonna leave that all flat just to, you know, see how the speaker sounds in our room. Our room's relatively flat. It has been acoustically treated. Obviously, I know this room really well. I've been working in it for nine or 10 years now. So this is a five inch driver here. And this is a, on some you'd call it a dust cap, but apparently this one is professionally known as a coil cap. Now on the top here, you have a four inch driver here and a one inch tweeter. So we've got one inch tweeter in the middle, four inch driver, five inch driver, coil cap on it there. Um, like I say, it's pretty substantial, which is actually nice to know. I suppose the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So we need to listen to it. Let's fire it up. Very excited to hear. I'm excited, haven't heard them yet. So you're gonna get the first reaction. We've got our switch witch here. People always ask me, by the way. So this is the switch witch. Uh, it's Procro. Um, I got it from Sweetwater maybe, I don't know, 10 years ago. Uh, I did check recently. You can buy them, it's really cool. So that's how we turn on all our different speakers. So we just got them set up. Um, all the tracks I have are tracks I've recorded and recorded and mixed here. So that way I'm gonna have a pretty darn good idea how they sound. So let's go for our first one is one of uh, Little Empire tracks called Too Bad. Now I have these, we kept these set up so they're on zero. You can go minus six and plus six on the volume.
It's remarkable how much low end there is on them for this size. The high mids are fantastic. All right, I'm gonna go to the Genelex, which I know and love and have been using forever. Callies. Just on first listen, absolutely superb. Quite often I get speakers that we try out and the difference is pretty massive between what I'm used to or how I remember mixing the tracks or something like that. And we then we use Sonar Works, which is a great software and we even them out. And because obviously the Genelex are tuned for the rooms and then we tune the other speakers and they get much, much closer. The thing with Cali, and I think the reason why everybody has kind of embraced the company and, and the products are doing so well, is they just always come out of the box sounding really good. Now we did the Eves uh, a few weeks ago and what we loved about them was the extended low end. These don't have a massive extended low end, but at the same time, I can hear the, the 40 to 60 on the kick. It's a little tighter on the low lows, as you would expect from a smaller box. Go back to the Genelix. These are really good. These are really good. We've had a few people asking about some other speakers in their range, and I've been telling them to hold on until these come out. This is really good, $6.98 for a pair. I know that's not cheap, and I know that's not free, but it's very inexpensive for what I'm hearing. Let's go to the Jonas Smith track. The reason I want to listen to this one is because this was recorded live at Sunset Sound, and it's off the console with with absolutely no mixing. So it's got low end, which is slightly out of control here and there, but good speakers will pick it up. Still on the Callies, on the IN5s. Oh. I want to see how that kick feels on the Genelix. Nice. I feel like the Genelex have like a seven, eight, nine, ten kind of little tiny bit of lift. A little bit more hyped is the wrong word, but there's definitely a little bit more on there. But this is like track dependent because that song had was super ambient, and you got all the ambience of the room and the plate from Sunset Sound from Studio Three. Let's listen to Katie's Hurricane, or for the Americans, Hurricane. Start with the Genelex. Go to the Kellys.
Very smooth. So I would describe the, the high end as being super smooth. I, look, at, at the price point they're at, they, they should just kill it. They should totally kill it. So bearing in mind, except for maybe a really extended low end that I'm going to get from the larger Genelex, the only real difference that I'm hearing that could be something that my, marginally could be improved in my listening environment is probably just a little tiny bit more high end. Now, bear in mind, we have set the speakers completely flat. So what we're going to do is just go to the back there and just click up one and just open up that top end ever so slightly. You know, they're providing us with the simple ability to adjust it. So let's use it. Now, of course, we could use Sonarworks on it, but I'm just going to do it using Kali's own uh, system. So let's open up that top end a little bit. So I'm going back to the Jonas Smith track, the one that we recorded live at sunset. It's Blair, Sinter on drums, John Button on bass, and then Jonas Smith singing live on a 58 or a 57, I think it was a 58, with a pair of, I think it was 67s or 47s on the piano. And uh, so it's a totally live track and all the ambience and the plate reverb was captured at the time. So. What we did is we flicked the switches on the back, so now there's a 2 dB lift at the high end. Let's see if that is going to make all the difference. So starting on the Genelix. Callies. It's definitely infinitely closer. Is it exactly the same? Heck no. Those are $8,000 speakers, but it's pretty darn close. I feel like the difference is the difference. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to use those speakers as well as the other ones. It's interesting because we're just about to build a second room. We used to have at one stage, I think, four rooms. We've been down for last year and a half or two years now just working here. And we're going to build a second room coming up soon. And you're going to see us try out a lot of different kinds of studio monitors because we're going to have a more professional room like this, full of like the Poltex and the Neves. Rupert Neve, God rest his soul. Um, and all of the other great stuff. But this other room is going to be a smaller bedroom size. So it's going to be interesting seeing how all of these different kinds of speakers translate in a small, you know, not as well acoustically treated room. All I can tell you is the difference now is the difference, but it's nothing that would stop me mixing and working on a pair of speakers that are $698 a pair. Pretty tasty. Very impressed. Obviously a great company that has done really well since they came out. We're huge fans. We've been champions of them for a long time now. And uh, yeah, very, very excited. The great thing is you can win one of three pairs of these speakers. So there's a link down below to enter to win. I think this is a fantastic product. I think you're really gonna love these. Also, of course, I'm sure there'll be a link to go and purchase a pair if you wanna purchase a pair. Thank you, Callie, you've done great work. Maybe we'll leave these up for a while and try them out. We've had the LP6s, we've been using the Eves recently in the middle. I think I want to leave these up for a while and just work on them quite a bit and see how we feel. But I will say they're open at the top without being too brittle. The low end is deceptively big for a smaller speaker. That kick on that last track set around about 80 on my chest, which is where it was shelved because it was a smaller kick drum. Really, really tight and beautiful on both the Genelec and the Cali, and frankly, the low end on that at, six, at 80 hertz felt identical. 
So I think it's only going to be the super, super subby low lows below 40 hertz that you're going to notice the difference between a larger speaker, you know. But quite frankly, if you want that with these, you're probably going to get a sub. But, you know, most of the time these days, I have a sub and we, don't, we forget to turn it on. So sort of think about that as well. I think once you know what you're doing with EQ and you start choosing what you're doing, you know, you don't really get into a lot of trouble because you're not sitting there with the tambourine track boosting 20 hertz. Anyway, that's another whole discussion for another day. Don't forget to enter to win one of three pairs of these speakers. Check out the link if you want to buy it. And if, of course, you've got any comments and questions, leave them down below. Have a marvelous time recording and mixing. Well done, Callie. So long, farewell, au revoir, adios, adios. Goodbye.